Welcome to Talk To Me. I'm your host, Brenda Warren, and I am thrilled today to have my guest, Mr. Kirby Monastine, with me. He is the CEO and the founder of Content Redefined. Kirby helps entrepreneurs, reinventors overcome the stigma that marketing and content creation is overwhelming and complicated because he says that is not the truth. Kirby is a marketing coach and a specialist with over 20 years of experience. He has himself been employed by Fortune 500 companies such as J.P. Morgan Chase, American Express, General Electric, and just to name a few. He's been brainstorming and developing and leading large-scale marketing initiatives for years. Kirby, welcome to the show. How are you today, sir? I am doing great, Brenda. It's so nice to be here. Thank you for having me. You know, Kirby, uh, before the show started, I was having so much trouble with your name, with starting up and everything. <laughs> I just had to bring that out because sometimes people need to know everything is not always perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about marketing. It may not be perfect, but if it's real and if you have the right coach, you can knock it out the box. And I'm that excited is... that you are a knock it out the box kind of guy. Tell me, how did you form this company? Thank you so much for asking. Um, so this company was born and bred from a passion that I have in my heart to help entrepreneurs really be able to create the magic that lives inside of them. I mean, there are so many people who have this I can't attitude, and we're here to tell them you can. You can do anything that you put your mind and your heart into. Um, and I'm sure we'll talk about my story a little bit later on, but you know, I had things that happened to me in the past that really opened my eyes to the fact that we are creative beings and we have the opportunity to create the life we want to live. We just have to step into it. And so I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to coach other people. And Brenda, I'm happy to share this moment and this time with you as well. You know, you've been very instrumental for me in how I look at how I market myself, how I market, um, talk to me and the coaching things that I have going on. And as an entrepreneur, I was really afraid of, not doing everything perfectly. And you were very generous and very common to help me get on the right track. If someone comes to your company, what's one of the first things they should have prepared with them when they come to talk to you? That's a great question. I always like when my clients come to me to just have their story prepared. Um, and maybe it's not their full story, maybe it's an outline of the story, but what's the inspiration behind your brand? What's the story behind it? You know, what drove you to create this product or service that you're creating? Um, that's the one thing that I talk to my clients about. Um, and oftentimes that's one of the pieces that's missing in marketing is this idea of being able to tell a story and connecting with your audience. Um, and my business is all about redefining the way we look at content and ensuring that within that content, there's pure connection. Because from that point of connection, that's where people will buy from. Like if they feel emotionally attached to you or you have the same goals or aspirations, people connect with that level and that is what inspires them. So the first thing I like my clients to bring along is their story, their inspiration, what brought them to this point, And then we move forward from there. I know that your company is all about conscious thoughts and affirmations. How does that play into your marketing uh, uh, for your clients? Yes, thank you for asking that. I believe that what we put out into the world is what we bring back or what we get back um, from the world. So it's so important when we are, as an example, coming up with our goals and objectives for our business or creating an overall marketing strategy, you want to think in the affirmative. I will. I am. And you want your marketing to reflect those things. Because as you put out those notions and those thoughts into the environment, that's what's going to come back to you. That's how your business is going to see success. Because you've set goals, you've set objectives, um, and you're living in that place of, I will achieve these goals. I will be specific in the goals. You know, when I talk to clients, I'm, I, I ask them, you know, how many new sales do you want to do within a three-month period, within a six-month period? Let's talk about that as we build your marketing strategy. And don't just say to me, I want a ton of sales. Talk to me really specifically. Tell the universe specifically what you'd like to see. I want to see 
you know, $100,000 in sales in the next three months. And I want to have, you know, five or 10 clients that bring me that $100,000. So really being specific with your goals and objectives and um, what you want to achieve is going to bring success to your overall business. You know, Kirby, that I hear that a lot of times, even for myself, I wasn't clear on what I wanted. And I remember mm -hmm. talking to you and you telling me to, like you say, be specific about what you want. Can you just tell me why is that so important um, to be specific? Why can't I just say, I just want to make sales and I, I, I just want people to come on my show. Why is that yeah. not good enough? Specificity is so important because again, you are dictating to the universe the type of success you want to receive. Um, and so many things equal success, right? So if I bring in a new client and they spend you know, $500 with me, that's success. Mm -hmm. But if my operating goals and the revenue that I need to operate my business requires me to make $10,000, mm. then you know, not being specific is not going to allow me to achieve the goals that my business needs to be a success. So when we are more specific, again, we put that energy out into the universe that this is what we would like to achieve in our overall strategy of, of, of what we're executing. Um, so the specificity is very, very important. Um, it also helps you to stay accountable. Um, so you know, it, it helps you to think about your goals in a more strategic way and say, okay, if my goal is to reach $100,000, then I need to step out of the box. I can't do the things that I've always been doing that didn't yield me you know, $10,000 or $100,000 in the past. I need to think outside the box and create strategies that you know, are the next level, that are really going to help me achieve that goal that I'm really trying to achieve. So when we're specific, it forces us to think outside the box. It forces us to be thoughtful about the processes and procedures that we wanna put in place to help enhance our business. And when you're specific in your business, you're specific in your life. You're gonna to start to see a whole world of other you know, blessings and, and important happenings. You're gonna to start to see those unfold as well. Um, so I really be, I believe in, you know, telling the universe what we want, being very specific, setting up goals, because when we have those written down, it not only will help us to achieve what we want to achieve, but it's also going to help us to build stronger, healthier, and happy lives. Now, when someone comes to you, say that if I, I came to you and I had a business, but I hadn't determined my colors yet. I hadn't determined my font size, my fonts, or any, as a matter of fact, I don't even know what a font is. Is that <laughs> something your company could help an uh, entrepreneur with? Absolutely. We, you know, as you mentioned earlier in my bio, I've worked with Fortune 500 companies, but I have also worked with mom and pop stores. I've, I've worked with first time entrepreneurs. My job as a coach is to meet you where you are. My job is to understand, you know, what have you tried? What are some of your challenges? What are some of the things that you might need education on um, that I can help to support you in terms of that level of education so that you know how to build a powerful brand that people are going to connect with? So yes, I take the time to explain to you why, you know, the font or the style of writing that you use in your, you know, in your marketing materials, why that's important. And, you know, Quickly, why that is important is because the more consistent you are, the more people are going to remember who you are. You know, the more you utilize branding, so symbols and colors, and the more effectively you use that throughout your marketing, the more people are going to recognize you. Listen, Brenda, if I'm driving down the street and I, you know, see, you know, two uh, yellow golden arches, I know that's McDonald's, right? Right. McDonald's mm -hmm. has good, done a good job of branding themselves. So when you go through the drive-through, you're going to see their signage there. When you order your meal, you're going to see their signage on the menu on the outside. When you get your when you get your food, you're going to see the McDonald's logo on your French fries. Um, 
holder, right? Mm -hmm. So every, they are continuing to reinforce their brand by mm -hmm. implanting their logo and their messaging in different places. And that's how people remember you. That's how they equate value to the products and services that you're offering. And that's how they relate to you. Um, so yes, when you come to me, you know, we spend a lot of time deciphering what your branding should look like. And nine times out of 10, the, the branding comes from that number one, that story that we were talking about earlier, that inspiration, but it also comes from market research and really identifying who is your ideal target audience and what do they want to see? What do they relate to? What colors make them feel good inside and bring up emotion for them? Um, what symbols do that same thing? And that's part of the exercise I take all of my clients through is number one, identifying their story. And then number two, making sure they've identified their ideal target audience and the story that belongs to that ideal target audience. And then meshing those two things together to help mm -hmm. you create a brand that sustains your, your products and services. Now, I know you work with large companies, but is there an ideal small company that you choose to work with? So that's, that is something that I, to be honest with you and to be forthright with you, I go back and forth with all the time because I just love helping people. Okay. <laughs> um, and part of my, you know, for those of you out there that have heard of Simon Sinek, who is a a uh, big business mastermind, and he talks about how to approach business. You know, one of the things he talks about is, is your why. Mm -hmm. Why do you do what you do on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. And my why for Content Redefined is to empower entrepreneurs and reinventors to empower other people in the community to change the world. So my heart is in wanting to change the world. My heart is in wanting to implement so much good out there. Um, my heart is in wanting to connect with people and, and empower them to tell their story because you never know what your story or how your story is gonna impact somebody else and influence them or change them or perhaps they were going down one road and your story is gonna help them go down a more powerful, more intense road. Um, so my thing is always about, you know, finding your why, identifying your why, and my why is about empowering entrepreneurs to empower people to change the world. Then this would be a perfect time for us to talk about your online course, Con Consumer Connections. Yes. Tell us about that, because that's a definite way for uh, entrepreneurs to begin discovering their why and to get help with you. Could you tell us about that? Sure. So I have a course, it's on my website at wearecontentredefined.com. Um, you can go to the courses or the plans tab and you can find the course. The course is only $30. Mm -hmm. um, however, within the course, I talk about some very basic things. Okay. So it's very clear to me that, you know, as I mentioned before, even though, you know, I've worked for these 500, Fortune 500 companies, there are still people who don't even know what is marketing? How do I define it? Um, you know, what are the various marketing channels that are out there? How do I know what's the right marketing channel for my business? Mm -hmm. You know, what is branding? How do I identify, like, like we were talking about, the fonts and the colors? And, and what is my vision statement and my mission statement? And why are those things important? Um, so in my Consumer Connections course, I talk about all of those um, items. I talk about marketing and branding at its basic form. Um, I talk about why it's important. I talk about how you can execute that as an entrepreneur on your own. Mm -hmm. um, I also talk about ways to connect with me if you feel like you, know, you want some support um, or you want some help in the process. And Brenda, it's so important. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. Mm -hmm. um, I, I firmly believe that God and the universe and, and whatever you know, spirituality that you believe in there's, there have been so many of these elements that have been brought to us mm -hmm. in order to support us in our day-to-day -day living. So there's nothing wrong with asking for help. Um, but I also provide you with the tools if you want to say, hey, I want to take this on on my own. These are some of the basic tools that you can start your marketing and your branding with. The other thing about my course is that I do offer a sample marketing plan in mm -hmm. the course. So there's about 15 to 20 ideas that I give to you as part of the course that are easy to implement, they're easy to do, and they, you can use to get your business started um, that will help you, you know, market, brand, get your product to market, and really connect with your ideal target audience. 
Well, Carpe, I'd like to um, ask if this is something you'd be interested in, because now I'm curious. I think that is a reasonable price. And um, I would like to gift your course to someone and then have them come back and have you join us and talk about how your course was received by them, if that's okay with you. Brenda, that is amazing. Thank you so much. I would love that. That's awesome. Okay. Well, we're going to do that. So everybody stay tuned. We're going to get someone to take Kirby's course. And then we're going to come back with Kirby and that person and talk about how they were able to use that course. Now, after they do your course, they'll say, they say, you know what, Kirby, I love this course, but I need some additional help. What do they do next? That's a great question. So um, you can, on my website, there are forms where you, contact forms, you can fill out a contact form. Um, I will receive that and I will contact you either by email or by phone. Um, you can also connect with me. I'm on Instagram. Um, so Instagram, Instagram.com forward slash content redefined. Um, I'm on LinkedIn as well, which is um, Content Redefined LLC. And I'm on Facebook as well at Content Redefined LLC. So there's so many ways that you can get in touch with me. Um, but you know, at, at its simplest form, you can go to the website, fill out a form, um, and I will email you or call you back and we'll set up a discovery call. And again, I wanna hear your story. I wanna hear what the, what the power is behind the work that you're doing and your why. Um, and I would be more than happy to, you know, chat with entrepreneurs who are really ready to take their business to the next level or who are really ready to understand how can I implement conscious thinking and the law of attraction and some of those um, elements into my overall marketing and branding strategy. Well, we'll make sure we have all your connection information in the description for the people that may see this at a later date. Uh, Kirby, can you tell me also, I understand that you're in the process of writing a book that's going to be being released this summer. Can you tell us a little bit about your book? Sure. Um, so I'm actually writing an, an, an anthology. Sorry, okay. sometimes that word is a little hard for me to get out. <laughs> um, I'm writing an anthology with six other authors. So I'll have a chapter in the book. Um, and, the, and the book is all about my true north. Um, so essentially, you know, what I talk about is my growing up, um, you know, I grew up in a very Pentecostal, very strict household. Um, you know, I'm also um, a gay male. So my story talks a little bit about that journey. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we, in that process, my parents who were amazing people, and my mom has passed on, um, so God rest her soul, but, rest you know, they were amazing, amazing, amazing examples of how to work hard, um, how to give something your all, but at the end of the day, you know, we still experienced a childhood bankruptcy, um, we still experienced some struggles and some challenges, um, so my, this is about me and how I overcame some of that, put myself through college, um, you know, made sure that I was focused on my goals and, and, and then also then, you know, coming out on the other side and building my business and meeting my wonderful husband and just, you know, my journey through that process. Um, everyone has a story. Everyone and I like, yeah. And I like to say, Brenda, and I think you've heard this line already, but I use it over and over again. I borrowed it from somebody. I can't claim it for myself, but your mess is your message, mm -hmm. right? So it's okay to tell your thing. story. <laughs> yes. It's okay to tell your story. You never know who you're going to inspire. You never know whose life you're going to change. And so this was my opportunity to tell my story. And yes, there were moments where it was, you know, riddled with anxiety and it was riddled with pain, but, but by God's grace, I came out on the other side and there's so many amazing things that I'm so thankful for as a result of the journey of my life. Um, so I just want to tell the audience, your mess is your message, you know, tell people about your journey, tell people about your story. It's also very healing and it's the thing that can help change the world. Whew. Kirby, with that, I would like you to tell me how is what you're doing right now helping you live your best life right now? So th what I'm doing right now is about empowering other people. It's helping other people to see that if you have a passion for something, go for it. Mm -hmm. If you have creativity that's kind of boiling up inside of you and you're sometimes, you know, we all go through this process where we're intimidated by our own creativity and that's okay. It is okay to be intimidated by your own creativity. 
you know what? Challenge yourself to rise above that. Every day is a new day with new possibilities and new dreams to achieve and conquer. And so what I'm doing is not only helping people to realize that they have the power to you know, create this wonderful world that they wanna live in, but what I'm also doing is letting people know that they have the power to change the world. Um, and so that, that, that's my thing, Brenda. It's just, I'm helping people unleash this creativity, the knowledge, the thoughtfulness, the kindness, the love that they have within them. And I'm helping them just blow that out into the world and share that with everybody. Well, Kirby, thank you for that. I'd like you to stand by while we thank a veteran. Oh, this is the point in the show, which I always love because this is the time when I ask my invited guests and the audience to thank a veteran. If you would go to www.nevcc.org forward slash projects, you will have the opportunity to thank a veteran. There are 12 different categories. You get to pick a theme and there's a prompt. I think it's uh, <laughs> spring has sprung. Uh, there's just so many different ones, but pick one that you like or pick all 12 and take the time to thank a veteran. It just takes a little bit of time and effort, no money required. You go in, you pick a category of one to 12 months, you tell a veteran thank you with a short little story. And then what will happen with that thank you is it will be combined with all the other thank yous that have been posted throughout the year. We will create a book. And on January 1st, some very special veterans will get this book compiled with all the thank yous and a gift basket full of goodies on January 1st, 2022. So if you want to be a part of thanking a veteran, go to www.nebcc.org forward slash projects and thank a veteran because somewhere today, while we're here on this interview, there is a Marine, a sailor, a Coast Guard, an Air Force Airman, did I miss anybody? An Army soldier, a Space Force sitting out there doing something so we can enjoy the way of life that we do so easily. So don't forget, thank a veteran. Go to www.nevcc.org forward slash projects and tell a veteran thank you. Kirby, do you have any parting thoughts for us before we yell? I just want to, first of all, thank you and honor you, Brenda. The work that you're doing is so tremendous in helping people and helping entrepreneurs and supporting them. Thank you so much for gifting my course to somebody. Um, I love the work that you're doing. And so I honor you today. And I just want to you know, thank the audience and remind you that there is nothing that you can't achieve if you put your heart and your mind into it. The possibilities are endless. So you know, go out there and kill it today, everybody. Thanks, Kirby. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's another episode of Talk To Me. As always, I'd like to remind you that the choices you make today will be the reality you live tomorrow. Choose wisely. Be blessed.